Hello everybody, this is Jefferson and right now we are going to begin this journey. Join me crew in this journey, this adventure in your new English classes. And so today uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to to the unit 8 of this book. This is the top notch book which I use in order to learn English. You know guys, and I know I haven't made a lesson in three years, but guys, I, I was so busy with my studies. I was assigned at university, and, and you know, even my, my hair now is longer, even I, I, I cut my hair like a year ago, and this is an introduction, guys. But let's keep on the learning of English. So, we are using this book top notch. I used this book long time ago in 2015 uh, in my first English course at Idiomas Book. So right now let's begin with the unit, unit 8. This is called Home and Neighborhood. Describe your neighborhood, that's the communication goal. Ask about someone's home, talk about furniture and appliances. Vocabulary, types of buildings, places in the neighborhood, rooms, furniture and appliances. Vocabulary booster, more home and office vocabulary, grammar, the simple present tense, questions with word, prepositions of place, there is and there are statements and yes, no questions, contractions and common errors, questions with how many. Okay guys, so basically we are going to learn vocabulary of the house. First, we have, if you can see right here, the title, it says home and neighborhood, right? Home and neighborhood. Uh, well, a home, what, what's the difference between house and home? House is the place where you live. I don't know, uh, maybe you live in a big house, in an excellent house, uh, in a fancy house or in a poor house. That's the building. I mean the material, the where, where you are, the location, but in physics, in reality, that, that you can touch like this. But home is the place when, when you feel uh, you belong to. So, for example, I would say that my house, where I live, where I dwell, is not my home because I don't feel like uh, comfortable here. But my home could be, I don't know, like in the... I was going to say the movie theater, but I don't know, maybe if you dance, that would be your home. Or in the, uh, I don't know, man, maybe the university or your sports club, you know? So that's home and neighborhood. Just remember uh, to spell neighborhood like this. Uh, N-E-I-G-H. Na neighborhood. That's it. Neighborhood, what's it mean? The area. Uh, where you dwell, where you live, but not only your house, but the other house of your neighbor. So that's a neighbor. The neighbor is the person who lives uh, besides my home. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the person who lives, um, I was going to say, next to my house, that's my neighbor, and that's our neighborhood. In Spanish, vecindario. Vecindario. Okay. So this is a house, uh, uh, as I told you, the place where you live, a house, the place, and uh, usually in houses you have windows. So the window is the, uh, this part of the house, the area, where you can stand right here, inside, and you could see the outside world. I don't know, maybe it's a, a dog right here. Um, and uh, he's passing, he's, he's walking, and you could behold him, or behold it, and that's the window, the place where, where you stand in order to see the outside of the house. Uh, the door, the door is a really important word because it's like the, the entrance of your house, so you must have a door, and you must lock the door with obviously a key, right? So don't forget, window, door, and what else? A garden. What's a garden? A garden is the a place where, where you have your flowers, your roses, your uh, I don't know, 
your poppies, uh, another kind of, of, of plants, right? A garden. And a garage is a place when, when you have your car. You know, it's your car in American English and your car in British English, of, of course. So we have a house. House, window, door, ah, uh, uh, I was forgetting this, the roof. Uh, we don't usually, uh, here in Peru, have roofs. Uh, I don't think in all South America we have roofs, but if you go to the US, uh, they may have a roof here, right here. So the roof is the upper part of the house, the upper, the upper part. Uh, and now let's focus on this, and maybe you can't uh, see, you can't distinguish so good the image right away, but what you are beholding, guys, and, and, and you you see, behold is a, a synonym of of C. What you're seeing right now is a stair. So that's, that's, that's the stairs, and this is an apartment building. So an apartment that are right now so popular. Uh, is that true, guys? Yes, it is. Because uh, well, here in Peru, and I, I mean, all the world is like apartments and apartments and apartments, and people live in high skies, and yeah. And this is your apartment, uh, I don't know, the, the basement, uh, floor one, uh, floor two, floor, okay. So you have the stairs, and you have the permanent building, and what is standing outside your apartment is a balcony. So this man is standing in a balcony, that's a balcony, similar to Spanish, right? Uh, in Spanish we have the word balcon, and here is a balcony, uh, and yeah, no, you know, this is a, an apartment, and this guy is right here with the lamp, you know? Okay. All right, guys. Now we have an office building. This is an office building. What's it mean? And just one, an office a building is like the like the building, the the area, the physical things. That's building. A, and you see right here an office is where, where, where people work. People work in offices, there are two persons standing right here. Well, they're uh, sitting down actually with computers. This is a computer computer in an office. So in an office building, there's an office and two persons working with computers, as most people do. This is the first floor, this is the second floor. And what's the meaning of floor? Floor is this area. So this, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe he drops uh, like a banana, a banana peel right here. So it, it is on the floor. Uh, maybe you have a trash bin on the floor, right? This is the floor uh, where, where, you, where you put your feet on. You put your feet on the floor. So the first floor and the second floor. And what's the name of this? Uh, this is a floor, but it's also, it's called a ceiling. You know, a ceiling. Oh, oh, okay, let me uh, write this. Well, ceiling. So, for example, there's an Alice in Chains song called. Uh, well, I, I don't remember the name of the song. It's in, in the album The Devil Put Dinosaurs Here from 2013. Well, it was released in 2013. And in the lyrics, Jerry sings the part. Uh, okay, the the name of the song is called Low Ceiling, and it's like a paradox. It says, "Why is my ceiling another floor?" So if you see right here, this ceiling is the ceiling of this first floor, but it's at the same time the floor of the second, the second floor, man. And it's like a, a kind of a paradox. And here we have an elevator, so it's where the people, uh, well, you know, uh, instead of using the stairs, they use the elevator because it's comfortable, uh, you don't have to use some extra energy in order to build uh, the, the, stairway, the stairs. Imagine if you are in, in a building, uh, you have to, to uh, go to the 11th floor and you have to up by the, the stairs, it will be so exhausting for every, everybody, including athletes. And so people could use the elevator, right? And this is an, an advice for me, a piece of advice. Uh, if you, I don't know, you have class, you have to work in the first, second, third floor, you can use the stairs, man. 
but if you are, of course, in the uh, you have classes in the fifth, sixth, seventh, fourteenth, eleventh floor, of, of course, use the elevator. Yeah. Now, guys, this is the part of the grammar, and it's really simple. Simple present tense, as we are now uh, cursing the unit 8 of the first book of fundamentals. Uh, this is really simple. Uh, we are in the present tense, so it means right now, right away. And questions with where. You, uh, we use where uh, to indicate a location. A location. A place. Uh, yeah, location, a place, where, uh, it means where in all the universe, or, or, or if you like, where in the in the earth are you, where, or, or where do you work, where, I mean the, I don't know, in the, could be the, the cinema, or movie theater, the beach, the moon, in Brazil, in Peru, I don't know where. Where do you live? Where do you work? Where, where are you standing right now? Where? The space. Yeah? Ah, yes, this word. Space. Space. Okay. Questions with where? Where do you live? Uh, and where do your parents live? Why do we use do? Do is the auxiliary verb. Remember, guys, the auxiliary verb do. Because you is the second person, and this is your parents, so they are they. So this is plural. Plural, we use to live. We can uh, say, uh, of course, where do you work or where do your parents work? But using the third person, and just remember, in the simple present tense, when we use the third person, he, she, or it, uh, this could be a she or it, but yeah, in another context, man. Where does he work? Where does she work? And where does your mother work? Some people may question, where your mother? If it's you, yes, but it's your mother. So we're referring to a third person, your mother, her. Your mother equals to her. Uh, well, actually it's her, but will be she, right? Maybe she, her, it's the same. Uh, so, just a subject and the object, but yeah. Where does your mother work? Now we are going to see prepositions of place. In. Uh, in is used to refer when you're inside something. In. Uh, I don't know, maybe I have uh, some powder here and I use this and I put this in here. So it's inside. In refers to inside. Uh, I don't know. She. This is a, an apartment. All right, it's an apartment, uh, it's in the sixth floor, and it's a woman dwelling here, and you could say she lives in an apartment, she lives in an apartment, they live in a house, so inside a house, I work in an office, and we're going to see more examples with in. You could say in a traffic jam, especially, uh, this is so common really in Peru, uh, there's a lot of traffic jam every day. So, I am in a traffic jam, Mary, I, I, I could not, uh, I couldn't get where we come to our date because I am in a traffic jam, wait for me uh, half an hour, 30 minutes. In Times Square, I, I don't know, I'm in New York, I'm in Times Square. I am in a building, I don't know the name of this building, but it's a new building, I am in a building. I am in a car because you're inside a car. I am in a car, or uh, I am in the kitchen, I am in the north.
You know, guys, uh, now we are going to use at, preposition of place. Uh, for example, I live up. Sorry. When do we use at? When we are um, a specific place. Just a specific. I live at 50 Main Street. I don't know, man, but I live at 50 Main Street. So I guess this is like the, the number of the house, right? I live at 50 Main Street. He works at the bookstore. They study at the new... Well, uh, this was English school, but I have no space, so... Okay, at the new English school. And as my psychologist says, how beautiful this is. Why, guys? Because I've noticed something. When do we use in? When do we use at? Look at it, guys. At the. At the. And do you remember in? In a. At the. So we use in when uh, we are not familiar with the location. So. Uh, I don't know, it's unknown, uh, in, uh, I don't know, maybe you're in a new city, In she is in a, a restaurant, but you don't know, you don't even know the name of the restaurant, so in a restaurant, or in a, I don't know, in a park, but you don't know the name of a park, you're not familiar with it, so in a, and if you're familiar with I don't know, with, uh, for example, Teddy Bear's, Teddy Bear's restaurant. She's at the restaurant, at the Teddy Bear's restaurant, at, at the restaurant. So when you're familiar. This is really beautiful, guys. And we're now, we're now going to see more examples with at. So as I told you guys, we use at for specific locations. At 242 Oxford Street. At the bus stop, at the state building. Uh, I don't know, I am at one, 163, 163 Figueroa Street, oh sorry, this is an E, F, Figueroa Street. For example, I remember when I was in the US, uh, we have our house, and our house had a number, it had a street. I don't remember the street and the number, but yeah, if uh, I would use it now, I was at the number and the street. You know, and now we are going to use on. We use on uh, with no so specific. It's not that as at where we were using at the specific uh, the number of the street. For example, her house is on Bank Street. All right, it's on Bank Street, but you don't know the number. So you know the avenue, uh, but yeah, there are a lot of houses here, and you don't know exactly, but this is the street, right? Or second example, we go to school on 34th Avenue. So you know the name of the avenue is at 34th, but you don't know the exact place. So it will be here, right here, I don't know. 34th Avenue and finally I work on that 10th floor so on the 10th floor because you're above the floor and uh, more examples with all right now well guys we have three more examples on 7th Avenue on Columbus Street on Jam Street and you can name it in the 68th Avenue for example when, when I was in Mexico there were these avenues with name like the 5th so if someone had called me, I would have said, uh, I don't know, I am the 5th uh, Avenue, or on the 5th Avenue, but I don't know exactly where, uh, near the, maybe the, the bank, but on the 5th Avenue, you know. And we are going to do exercises right now. We are going to finish with this test, guys, and we are going to do it together. Uh, Number one, A, where your sister's apartment? Her apartment, Green Street. 
uh, which word do you think matches here, guys? I think it might be the verb be, right? Where is? Because we're referring to her, your sisters, uh, it's her third person, so we use is. Her apartment, now we have to use is, o, or at. Mm. Is, no, because that means inside, and you can be inside an avenue. That just doesn't make sense. Maybe at, but uh, we are missing the number. So the right answer here is on. On Green Street, because we are referring to the avenue, but not uh, exact avenue, so because we don't have the number. Two, were you English? Which verb can be? Where? where? But of course, the auxiliary verb with do is do. Where do? We use do with the second person. Oh, we study. Where do you study English? Really simple, really easy. We study English, the school around the corner. In the school? No, because do you remember in with a or an and at with the uh, sometimes we pronounce the okay we study at the school at the school you with another color right or can I use black color your neighbor a bank your neighbor your neighbor, a neighbor, third person, another one, not me, but another one, thus, thus your neighbor work, remember guys, we don't use works because we already have the auxiliary verb, so the S is right here, thus, so in, in, a, in, a, in a question, okay, I missed the question mark, where does your neighbor work? So if this were a sentence, we will use works. He works, like, like he. No, she works, because in the simple present tense, the third person uh, goes with a verb, but with the S, works. Does your neighbor work in a bank? No, she works in a bookstore, because the A. Uh, in a bookstore. And the last one, were your parents then, but plural? Well, do your parents live, right? Live. They live, and we're being specific. So if we had just Gray Street, we would say on. Oh, but since we have 58, so it's really specific, we use at. And really, thank you for joining me, guys, to this class. This is the unit 8, and we're going to stop here because I, I don't want to use uh, much time. But yeah, there are more parts of this unit. Goodbye, take care, guys.